Hi everyone, this is David Wicks, your instructor for EDTC 6433 Teaching with Technology. And in this webcast, I want to talk to you a little bit about the rubric for grading the B portfolio posts. I want to make sure that you understand uh, the criteria and uh, get all the points each time you post. We want your B portfolios to look great and have great content. And so if you follow this rubric, I think you'll see that it will help you improve. Lauren has agreed to let us uh, look at her post. It was a great post for the overview module. And she's allowed me to uh, share her post and make some comments on it, mostly positive, a couple of suggestions where she could improve. So let's take a look. First uh, criterion is that the post is timely. And if you notice with uh, WordPress, uh, it does include the date. However, what I'm primarily looking for when I'm looking at the date is I'm looking at that you post before I grade. And I will try to grade as soon after the deadline as, as possible. Uh, so if you're hours late or a day late and I haven't graded yet, uh, I'll, I'll let it go. But my point is, is that it's possible in WordPress to change the date. Uh, so you can pre-date a post that you make. And so rather than counting on that date, I'm uh, just making sure that uh, I grade on a regular basis and then you get the, the feedback you need. The next criterion is reference and citations. And you should be using basic APA citation uh, criteria for your posts and you should be referencing the readings that we're doing. If you're looking here um, you'll see down at the bottom of the page that she, uh, Lauren, has actually done a nice job of including her references. However, I'm not seeing um, in-text citations uh, the way I would like to see them. So I'd like you to, to actually, you know, where you reference the reading, make sure that you include the author in the year and of course there are other ways you can format in-text citations and I would encourage you to either look at the APA manual or consult one of the online resources for APA formatting uh, to make sure that you're uh, at least close to the standard. The next uh, uh, criterion is the resource sharing and this is where what you should be doing is you should be referencing either something that you shared or something that someone else shared. And so in this case, you can see that she's uh, referenced uh, a resource that uh, David shared. And she talks about the resource and then she critiques it. The next criterion is the uh, relates to instruction. And so in this case, you should be referencing the ISTE standards and talking about a way that you, they can be used to uh, enhance your instruction. When we're dealing with standards one through five, that will be pretty straightforward. On the overview module, I, I had you see both, or I had you see all five standards as well as the state standards uh, for students. And so I wasn't really expecting people to um, meet this criterion. Lauren did a good job of uh, addressing the state standards here and talking about how they may impact her instruction. And when you get to the individual standard one, standard two, standard three, uh, ISTE standards for teachers, uh, it will be pretty straightforward as to what you should be talking about. One important point is that you should also reference your content standards. So you should be talking about like the integration of the ISTE standard, for example, the creativity from standard one and how that uh, can help you meet uh, one of your uh, content standards for your discipline or for your grade level. Next, we're looking at demonstrating understanding. And in this case, you were supposed to refer to one of the specific performance indicators for a standard. Well, in the overview module, again, that wasn't uh, really expected. That's why everyone who completed their overview module post uh, was awarded all the points. And then I went through and just uh, alerted to you to the fact that uh, some of the things uh, weren't met and weren't expected to be met. 
until you get to standard one. The artifact is next and there's a lot of things you can do with the artifact. In her case uh, she chose to use uh, the web link and the web links are great. What I'd like to see is more use of images and more use of video clips. At some point with your standard one through five you'll be able to attach a link to your projects. Uh, that would come later uh, but for now, uh, think about adding images, think about adding videos where possible. The heading. One thing we want to do with the heading is make it interesting, make it attention grabbing, something that will bring uh, your readers to uh, your sites. Also, it should be descriptive of that post. Tags, categories, and standards. Uh, if you look uh, at hers, um, on her first post, she just had one standard that she was referencing. And what I want to see with the standards um, or categories is I want to see integration. So I want to see you reference a standard about technology, but then I also want you to realize that some of the things that you talked about in the post dealt with uh, one of your other standards that you have to meet for your program. And then in tagging, she did a great job here of just listing key concepts that she discussed in her post. And those are going to be things that she can search on later. She is setting her blog up to where at some point when she's looking at it and she's interested in all the posts she's made about collaborative learning, she'll be able to click on that link in her tag cloud and once the page loads, she'll be able to see all of the posts she made dealing with collaborative learning. Here they are. Here's all her posts she's made where she's referenced collaborative learning. For the interaction, she should be going to her blog buddies post and leaving that person feedback on his or her post. When you do that, okay, and we look down here and it's looking like she didn't get any feedback yet on her post, and it's important that you have either one blog buddy or if you have two, that you're always giving those two people feedback. Uh, we want to make sure everyone gets feedback, peer feedback, on every post that they make. Okay, well, those are some tips for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, have a great day.